This is the Fox Sports Sun Tip of the Week, brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Much of Florida is surrounded by shallow, fish-filled coastal waters that are ideal for wading. We've got city, county, and state parks where you can drive right to the water's edge and hop into the action. Today, I'm on the Southern Indy River Lagoon. I've got a light spinning rod with 10-pound braid, 20-pound leader. I've got a lightweight pair of neoprene booties to protect my feet and my ankles. I got a chest pack for a small box of lures, my wallet, fishing license, and some pliers. If the water's really cold, we can wear a pair of waders, so let's grab our gear and go fishing. You know, today we did well on snook with a jig and a soft plastic tail. Under different conditions, we may have used a flashy jig for mackerel, pink bucktail for pompano, maybe a topwater lure for a variety of species. You know, it just goes to show that whether you have a boat or not, if you're creative and willing to get a little bit wet, you're going to discover remarkably diverse fishing all around Florida. This has been the Fox Sports Sun Tip of the Week, brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places.